Hi everyone, it's Miss Lauren here and today I am going to show you how to finger knit using t-shirt yarn and your fingers. So start by finding the end of your t-shirt yarn and pinch it in between your thumb and your hand. And you can use any hand I'm just going to show with my left. Once you've got that nice and pinched, now we have to start our knitting, which is going to look like weaving. So your strand of t-shirt yarn is going to go behind your index finger, in front of your middle finger, behind your ring finger, in front of your pinky. Now do that again, going behind your pinky, in front of your middle finger, or index finger, behind your middle, and in front of your index. So we're going behind, in front, behind, in front, behind, in front, behind, in front. Let's do that again. Behind, in front, behind, in front, behind, in front, behind, in front. Okay. You don't want to do this too tight so you don't cut off circulation and get blue fingers. So make sure it's a little loose and it's comfortable for you. Once you've done this twice, you should have two loops on each finger. We're going to take the bottom loop and pull it over the second loop and over behind our fingers. So let's do that. Take this, you can bend your finger to get it over like that. Let's do it with this. The nice thing about t-shirt yarn is it's nice and stretchy. If we were trying to do this with conventional yarn, it would be a little more difficult but we've put all the loops over our finger and we now have one on each. So you can push it down, tidy it up a little bit. Find your strand again. Make sure it's not too, too loose in the back there. And let's repeat. We're behind, in front, behind, in front, behind, in front, behind, in front. And let's pull those loops over again. Behind, keep it tidy, and you can push these down. Yeah, you can see it's getting loose there for me, so I'm gonna pull it a little tightly, not so tight that it hurts my fingers. And I'm behind, in front, behind, in front, behind, in front, behind, in front. And I'm gonna do that again. Pull from the bottom. If you're noticing that we're doing the exact same thing this time as we did the time before and the time before that, you are correct. You are going to do this until you get the length that you want, and eventually you'll see that you're starting to get a pattern on the back, and you can pull it to make that pattern start showing up. So now tighten your index finger again, and I'm just going to go for a bit. So, when you get to the length you want or you start to run out of t-shirt yarn to use, we're going to have to finish this off and tie it off. So you can see that I have a real nice length here of t-shirt yarn. I pulled it. It's real nice and real squishy. It's fun to play with. So now, to finish up, we're going to do one last weave around. this one last time. Okay, so finish your very last weave. So you should have a little bit of a tail or a lot of a tail, whatever you want. And you should have one single loop on all of your fingers. Now to finish this off, we are going to take our loops and stack them from finger to finger. So let me show you how we do it. We take it off the index finger first and flip it onto your middle finger. A little bit of a tighten. Now, we have two loops, so what do we do? We pull up the bottom one, fold it over so we're down to one ring again. Do that again. 
Pick it off your middle finger and flip it onto your ring finger. I've got two. Let's take the bottom one, put it over. So we've just got one. And now last but not least, take it off your ring finger and flip it onto your pinky. And now pull the loop up one very, very, very last time. Now, if you need a scissors, now is a good time to walk around your house and go get a scissors, like here. And then you can clip it to the length you want. I'm gonna leave mine long for now. So, uh, once you have your end, you take it, take your loop off your ring finger, make sure you still have it, and run the end of your yarn right through it. Pull it through. Give it a tug to tighten it. And there you have it. You have just finger knitted. You can turn this into all sorts of things. If you have a longer piece, it can be a scarf. This can make a really, really nice necklace if you wanted to tie the ends here. Um, you can also only do part of that, only weave part of it or knit part of it and use it as a bracelet. Um, I also like taking Google Eyes and putting two Google Eyes on so then you have a pet snake. Whatever you decide to do with this, I hope that you enjoyed seeing this video and I hope it gives you a lot of ideas of things that you can do at home right now. For more ideas, you can go to CheshireLibrary.org or you can check out our social media pages like our other YouTube videos. So thanks for watching.